This is Recycle Force, where every year they recycle tons of discarded electronic equipment and the lives of more than 300 ex-offenders. For employees seeking an honest wage, Recycle Force is often the first job they find coming out of prison or jail. There's major changes happening in criminal justice right now. The jail's at its lowest level than ever before. DOC has released more people. There are more people recently released than in my 25 years of doing this work. I got eight guys that were enrolling today. Some of those individuals would have last week probably been selling drugs down at the city market. Today, we've got them engaged in activities that will give them an income, mental health treatment. Recycle Force was one of four groups to receive $75,000 in grants to put staff into the community to head off crime before it begins. If we say Recycle Force of 75,000 had a dent on a murder, one murder trail costs four times of that. So if we come in one murder less, that's 75,000 to the good. Voices, a community arts organization, community action of Greater Indianapolis, and the Edna Martin Christian Center also received funding. As street outreach workers must adapt to reaching neighbors in danger from violence. This year is a fluke with this pandemic. We, our work is one-on-one -on -one and face-to-face, -face, going into people's homes, and it's difficult to do that and maneuver that in this pandemic. And to try to get a shooter on a Zoom call is not happening. City officials say if these programs can keep people from being involved in violence, then they've achieved Mayor Hogsett's goal of seeking both criminal and social injustice reform. Near downtown, Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News.